Just for clicking on this video, it is cruise day again, but this time it's a mom and daughter cruise on board Carnival Conquest. Join us in this video as we ride the Brightline train from Orlando to Miami and sail away on Carnival Conquest for a four day cruise going to Cozumel. If you aren't already subscribed, please consider doing so. Thank you. Good morning, guys. I'm Raquel from MH Family Ventures. This is Jewelry. And today is... Cruise day. It is cruise day. So, Joe and I are taking a quick mom and daughter cruise on board with ship. Carnival Conquest. <laughs> We're going to be on board Carnival Conquest. And guys, let me tell you, this came so last minute. We were actually scheduled for a last minute cruise with Margaritaville at sea. Um, and there had been some weather happening and the cruise before us, their two day cruise turned into a five day cruise because they got stuck in Freeport. And so we decided, um, we were able to sail, but they were gonna have us board like five, six o'clock. So we decided to cancel that. And we actually grabbed the very last cabin on board Carnival Conquest for a four day sailing going to Cozumel. So we're about to head out. So we are actually, because this was so last minute, you guys know flight prices are extremely high, um, but because this was so last minute, we actually had to, so Carnival Conquest is in Miami. We had to fly to Orlando because you guys know we fly the budget airlines. We were able to find a, a flight for right around $100 for each of us or for the total for both of us. And that was a lot cheaper than the almost $300 per person going to Miami or Fort Lauderdale. So we are catching Brightline. If you guys don't know, Brightline is a high-speed train that runs from Orlando all the way to Miami. We're catching that this morning. It is almost seven o'clock. Our train is at 7.50. So we have to catch um, an Uber. Uber or the hotel shuttle. We're at the Courtyard Marriott um, back to the airport to get on Brightline. So we have about a three hour and 15 minute ride to Miami and then we'll be boarding the cruise. So be sure to follow along, like this video. It's a mom and daughter's cruise. We are headed out. Bye. The new Brightline high-speed train runs all the way from Orlando and makes stops in South Florida cities like West Palm Beach, Fort Lauderdale, Boca Raton, and more. The train station is conveniently located near the beautiful Terminal C at Orlando International Airport. You can grab your ticket once you arrive or you can book it in advance using the website or app. When you arrive, there are nice places to lounge like the Upcharge Premium Lounge or you can be just like us regular folks and just sit in the comfortable common areas that have ample seating and outlets to charge your devices. Snacks and beverages are available at the Mini Market and Mary Mary Bar, but if you don't have time to grab something, the attendants will be around on the train for you to purchase what you need. You can carry on your smaller suitcases and check your larger ones starting off at $10 per bag. The train itself is so clean and comfortable. Riding on Brightline and scheduling a pre-arranged Uber through the app certainly made it easier for us to make it to the Port of Miami to hop on our cruise. I highly recommend you check them out. to Terminal F, boarding Carnival Conquest. Now, if you don't know, this is actually our second time on board Carnival Conquest. Check out our series from June of 2022. We were on board Carnival Conquest and actually I caught COVID. So we weren't able to enjoy our cruise. Um, we had to drive back from Miami all the way to Ohio. Um, it was a miserable time, so didn't really get to experience it. So this is a do-over for us. So it'll be just me and Joe, but we're preparing to board. boarding cruise 13 for no cruise 12 I had to cancel one cruise 12 for 2023 so if you missed all those adventures be sure to go back and and watch those we have 13 on the books already for 2024 so be sure you're subscribed but we're headed up
All right, something else I wanna share is, like I said, we booked this cruise last minute, literally two days before the cruise, got the last cabin on board. Now, something to note, if you're Platinum Diamond, have priority, um, because our check-in, you guys know we always get like the first check-in, 10, 10.30. The only thing available was 1.30. Um, however, because we are priority, good morning, we were able to just walk in. So um, don't, if you book last minute and you do it after check-in time, and you have a preferred time, you're still able to just come in. When I, um, they have you line up by your time, and they just said, I said, they said, oh, you're priority, you can come in at any time. So keep that in mind, um, because there's no way we're gonna wait till 1.30 to board, but we're boarding. knock out our mustard drill real quick and then we're gonna eat I am starving I didn't have breakfast so super hungry where are we going for breakfast for lunch blue iguana blue iguana our favorite Mexican place well our favorite Mexican place on a cruise ship <laughs> not our favorite Mexican but favorite on a cruise ship the long lines for food that's why we try to get on early to avoid the line um, we boarded today right at 11 30 and they started at 11 so try to get here early if you want to beat the crowd you can also choose to dine um, they have pizza of course the buffets right here blue iguana guys burgers the deli um, the dining room I don't know for sure if they started having lunch um, on embarkation in the dining room, but some cruise lines offer that. That'll save you the headache of being in the crowd, but we're gonna wait for Blue Iguana. We're gonna, that's our first stop. share this cake. Is the burrito good? Yeah. Yeah. So guys, we're about to go to the um, Camp Ocean. So Camp Ocean is available for kids ages 2 through 11. Um, and this is complimentary. This is included with your cruise fare. Definitely take advantage of it. You can pre-register when you do your online check-in before the cruise or just pop in during one of their open um, house times during the first day of the cruise. And then you can take your kid there. Typically their hours run in the evenings from about 7 p.m. until 10 p.m. And if you wanna keep your kid there until 1 a.m., then you can pay um, a small fee to keep them there later. But highly recommend the kids clubs. Our kids love them. Go to for the kids club. It is beautiful. It's a decorated for Christmas. Stuff is so cute. All right, and if you are a first-time cruiser, I kind of get the same spill every time we cruise. Um, your cabin's not ready till 1.30, so try to pack light getting on the ship or check your bags with the porters so you're not having to tote all this stuff around. Um, so yeah, cabin's ready at 1.30. If you're Platinum Diamond, Faster to the Fun Suites, anything like that, you can drop your bags off in the cabin, but you can't stay until they get it ready, so.
Lisa Jo Marie remembers coming in here to dance <laughs> the last time we were here. Dance floor. Yeah. Oh, Joe. She's ready. <laughs> All right, too bad you can't hang out here. This is for adults. <laughs> Guys, I'm not gonna do a full ship tour on this um, cruise. Definitely check out our embarkation video from June of 2022. I don't think the ship has been updated, so it's pretty much the same. Um, I'll take you along throughout the cruise to different spots, but I won't do a full walkthrough today like I normally would um, because we've already been on the ship. Squishmallows are gonna stay right there. I've been looking for that squishmallow right there. Yeah, because you'll pay $50 trying to get that out of there, and you can go to Walmart and get them for five to ten dollars. Yeah, that's what we'll do. our cabin uh, our luggage is already there so that's awesome um, but yeah we booked last minute we have a standard interior cabin we literally grabbed the last cabin available <laughs> I was hoping um, for an upgrade if someone canceled to get into an ocean view didn't happen um, so we're gonna go on a very quick cabin tour because this is a very small cabin um, but it's gonna work for us um, this is a basic interior cabin this is gonna be consistent across the ship pretty much consistent across all of carnival ships except for the XL class um, this bed is a queen king bed um, it can convert to two twin beds but this room accommodates up to two if it accommodated three or four you would have um, upper berths up there like bunk beds that would come down from the ceiling but yeah that's it it's basic it only has if i'm recalling from unless they update it no they did not this on conquest they only have one outlet one standard outlet so be sure you pack a converter or an adapter so that you can plug in more than one device so they have one um standard outlet and then one european outlet so be sure you pack something all right so we just had a quick live stream check that out if you missed it but we're here getting ready for getting ready for what joe she's trying to figure out why the pool's closed i don't know why it's closed but it's closed off right now but we're getting ready for CLA. what do you say it's not that deep it's only free eight and i can oh yeah i can swim in free eight yeah yeah well the pool's closed right now so i don't know if somebody had an accident and they're not but we're here for sail away
to y'all. That was probably the wildest, <laughs> the wildest sail away I've seen on Carnival. So yeah, Joe Marie had to close her eyes. They even came up to her to close her eyes a couple of times. Um, so <laughs> lots of fun though, lots of fun. Um, so yeah, so we're sailing away from Port of Miami. Um, we're walking to check out the sports course now. This ship does have a sports course, but it is extremely small um, compared to some of the other ships. I wonder if they'll update it soon, but like the basketball court has this glass enclosure in the middle. Um, so you don't quite have a full court, but it doesn't have like the ropes course and all of that, like some of the other ships that she's used to. Um, so keep that in mind if you're on Conquest, but it is a, it is a nice price um, cruise for families. Highly recommend it for that reason. Um, they offer three to, currently three to five night sailings. So check out Carnival Conquest. Again, we were on this back in 2022 in June. And from the little bit we had, you know, the day and a half before we got sick, you know, we enjoyed it. But yeah, it's a, it's a Carnival classic. Yeah. So you see they have a lot of open, a lot of open space. Like they could put the um, loungers out. Oh, Joe, let's walk back here real quick. Um, they could put more loungers and things. There's a lot of open space on this ship. And as you see, this ship has a retractable roof. So this is the adults only um, pool area. They have a couple jacuzzis and things back here. Now, some carnival ships enforce it, some don't. Um, if I recall correctly, this one, they really did enforce it. And it looks like, yeah, there's no kids down there right now. So hopefully they're enforcing it, but it's nice because it has the retractable roof. So if there's inclement weather, they'll close that off um, so that you can still enjoy the pools and the jacuzzi. So that's, that's really nice. dinner in the main dining room um and i mentioned this if you missed our carnival magic vlog i talked about how the main dining room um has a new menu and we really enjoyed the menu on carnival magic so we're gonna have dinner there tonight because i recall there being a shrimp dish that i really liked um so that's where we're headed to for dinner but definitely check out if you've been one to not want to go to the main dining room check it out because the menu has changed and it's really good Hope we get a booth. We don't want to share. <laughs> oh, perfect. That's awesome. No, your waiter will come very soon. Okay, thank Just, you. Uh, have a look at the menu. All right, we lucked up. We got a table to ourselves. And, and my, I was hoping we got one of like those, those or a, a table for two. Yeah. So here's a table for the people. Because I'm not a fan of sitting in the pool. Mm-hmm. When look at the Eiffel Tower. Yeah. And we don't mind sitting with people when we have to, but our preference isn't to, um, especially with it just being me and Joe, we're both kind of introverted. Looks like the Eiffel Tower. Oh yeah, looks like the Eiffel Tower. I said Eiffel. I said Eiffel. All right, so you have to make sure to scan the QR code for dinner. Um, they will give you a paper menu if you want that. But again, they have a new menu. Um, so if you haven't cruised with Carnival in a while or, um, haven't had a great experience in the dining room, definitely check it out. And you can check the menu out on the Carnival Hub app before you even arrive. That way you can decide whether Hello. you wanna have dinner here or not. So check out the menu. Hello. Chicken. Cracks me up, they always ask Jo Marie if she wants to order from the kids menu. And what do you tell them? No, thank you. Because <laughs> I don't like, like chicken wings or chicken nuggets. I like, I like having like something that will fill me up. Okay. She said she doesn't like chicken nuggets and stuff like that. She wants stuff that'll fill her up, so. She's been like that since she was young. She doesn't do the grilled cheese, chicken nuggets, fries. No, she wants what we eat. 
There's a bonsai sushi shit. Yeah? Well, we're not doing that <laughs> I tonight. Not definitely not tonight. And she has expensive taste. She wants the bonsai sushi ship. If you watched our Carnival Magic series, she had that for her birthday. That's for special occasions, Joe. But if you like sushi, check it out in the dining room. They also have sushi on board as well, but it's really good. Can we just go to bonsai sushi? Um, can we what? Can we just go to bonsai sushi one time? We'll think about it. <laughs> so I ordered, um, they have this crawfish, I don't know, pastry for an appetizer that was really good last time. And then I got double entree, because I had the Szechuan shrimp last time and it was really good. And I wanted to try the barbecue salmon. And then Joe Marie, what'd you get? She's chewing. I also got the cheesecake for dessert. So um, Joe Marie eats very healthy for the most part. So let's see what she ordered. What'd you order? Two shrimp cocktails, as always. Salad. I don't remember what the salad's called. A crab salad. And I got tropical fruit. Yep. So, pretty healthy. <laughs> um, so yeah, so definitely check out the menu. I'm just excited that we have a table to ourselves. I thought with us booking last minute, because they did have us down for late dinner, but that's something too, that's a perk if you're a uh, diamond or platinum, is that you have priority as far as your reservations. So you'll almost always get cleared off the wait list. So we got cleared off the wait list as we were boarding. Um, so we had early dining. So I just knew that they were gonna squeeze us in um, a table. They didn't, so i um, excited for that. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and, and have dinner. And then Jo Marie said she's going off to the kids club. I might try to make the tree lighting ceremony. Or yeah, you'll go with me to the tree lighting ceremony. Then, then she'll go to the kids club. All right, so that's the plan. Amazing activities going on, also that we're all gathered together. 